to. Oh, damn. It's, I can't. It ain't just one. It's not just one. Real talk. Cause I desire to stop punching the clock for somebody else. Right. My right. passion is this music, so I keep doing it, and I'm happy when I make my listeners feel good. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like all that, like all that. I can't just say one. So all that. Anger, not so much. I have my angry times. Not really so much anger. You know what I'm saying? And you're not a prideful person, no? Nah, because I know at the end of the day, you know, I don't get religious, but I do believe in, you know, God. And I feel like in the day he could take this from me just like he gave me, so I don't get too prideful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who would you say influences? You know, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned Christopher Williams and you mentioned Johnny Gill. Um, who else influences your musical style? Man, them two off top. Dave Hollister, like. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> who else? Like uh, Dave Hollister, always in my playlist, get me going. Johnny Gill. Uh, yo, I, I mean, Usher. You know the old Usher, not so much the new stuff. Yeah. Like Confessions on yeah. that. Um. Uh, who else was in my list? You know Sam Cooke, because he's yes. He's, and what he's saying about was real. Um, who else influences my music? Um, mm, I'm always never prepared, but I gave you quite a few, so I did good. Um, <laughs> influences, other than them, them the main ones. If I miss anybody, I feel bad. But them like the main dudes, like really. Um, them the main guys that I can think of. Oh, uh, yeah, it's them the main ones. I mean, Mario is dope, too. I, I've been rocking with him since I was a kid, and he was, too. So, yeah. So, the main people, though. Yeah, you were naming people, like, we, like, around the same age, you know? Joe LaVert. Like, Joe LaVert. Oh, man. Like, I loved him because he wasn't, I mean, don't get me wrong, he could sing, no doubt. Like, no doubt. But his showmanship was better. So, that's what made me, like, fall in, like, fall in love with him musically, you know what I'm saying? Because his showmanship was so dope. Like, he get on stage and be singing. And you're talking about, girl, you're going to make me throw this chair at you. You know what I'm saying? You keep singing to me like that. Like, he was that dope. Like, I never forget he did that with Marshall Ambrose at the BET Awards. He's like, girl, you going to make me throw this chair? You know, it was just, it was just dope. Man. I never forget the time. Yo, I never forget the time at the awards. He rolled on the floor singing to Patty LaBelle. He rolled on the ground singing. Come on, man. Dope. I'm sorry. Now, I'm thinking of more people now, so you said that. Like, of course, Jill... Uh, Brandy, like that's my girl. SWV, I love the harmonies, man. Uh, uh, it's it's quite a few, yo. Like they all motivate me. They all inspire, influence. Now, Joe Thomas, the, the you know Joe. Oh my gosh, yes. Brian what about Mike, Kim? Carl, I mean, I, Kim, yeah, yeah, Kim, Kim, yeah. I like, I like chemistry. The first CD that was the dopest to me. Yeah. But yeah, Brian McKnight. Uh, he got that new joint, Sweeter. That song is so dope. Jamie Foxx. Cause I get that. Oh, I get that a yeah. lot. <laughs> he used to make me mad when I was younger, but now I was like, hey, it's a compliment. But uh, yeah, Jamie Foxx, Tony Braxton, Tevin Campbell. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, Tevin. Yes. Yeah, like, why are you, like, so, bringing up my whole childhood, you know? Yeah. You had a good childhood. It was very good. Very good. This music that is out now, I appreciate the music. I appreciate, you know, the artists and their efforts. Um, it appeals to this, the millennials, you know? Um, right, not right. so much those my age. Um, right. But, you know, I... I all of those that you just named, yeah, some of my favorites. If you had the opportunity to perform with uh, anyone, deceased or living, um, who would it be? Any of those individuals there? Man, uh, real chop. Hmm. I would love to open for Dave if he listening. Um, but to perform with is a chick I didn't get the name. I would love to do a song with Jasmine Sullivan. Like I would love to. Woo! And I, and that's not, you know, because what she did with dude wasn't good. I ain't gonna say his name, but 
Me and her would be way better than her on the track. Who are you talking about? Bryson oh, yeah. Killer? Yeah, we would do way better than that. <laughs> I ain't I ain't sending no shots, you know, but you did that. You ain't want to put his uh, name out there. I'll put his name out there. Call me Bryson Killer yeah. if you're listening. I put your name out there. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's cool, yo. But I think me and her would did a way better track than that. Like, she was trying to, you know, keep up. I guess, but do what you do, baby. You, you Jasmine, do what you exactly. do. Like, yeah. do what you do. You know what I'm then call me up and we'll make a dope remix, girl. Like, I'm telling you. I know I'm, man. <laughs> I don't want to boost your head and give you the, you know, make your ego just, you know, just go over the top. But um, I do want to talk about this next track that I'm about to play. Um, that has been on repeat, and uh, people are just like, you know, where can I get it from? Do you read? If you read, it, it tells you it's on all platforms. So, you know, I've been sending out this iTunes leak like all week, um, but it's this well, song right well. here. I, think I was up with this song, and another artist just dropped a song like last week. No, I'm sorry, this week. So his song, um, and this song right here, I wake up to, I can't say I go to bed to, so I don't go to bed. But I wake up to it, you know. Um, right, right. And I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about right. What's going through <laughs> your head when you make that? <laughs> I'm laughing because everybody you know, like, what are you thinking hold about? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me rephrase that. Okay, so mentally, where were you at? Right. I never want to say what was going through your head because I got some freaks to be on the show and they will blow that out of proportion. So yeah, mentally, you know, what was going. Where were you at mentally? I'm not excited. I'm trying to keep it, you know, keep it cool. But I was uh, uh Well, you better tell me where you was at mentally and quit playing. I was uh, <laughs> <laughs> I cut the track uh, on uh, and you know. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That's funny that you say that. That's funny that you say that and didn't say that because I caught that. But I was I was talking to another artist and I was like, um, I want feedback. From you, now I gave you your critique, but I want feedback from you on this track. Now I know where my head is listening to it, but I want to know, you know, um, like what was this a process? Like, did you have step? It was a step by step guideline. Um, did you have, you know, was there some exhibitions that were going on during your writing process? You know, um, and you know, he kind of confirmed that, yeah, that that's what happened, and he he writes his best music you know, in the middle of things. And I thought, wow, okay, so so what about, you know, actually, please don't keep it real. What about okay. actually having All sex right. with music, you know? Um, I've done what, that what those, Yeah, okay, let me play the song. Uh, if you're just tuning in, you're live with Nakia and special guest, <laughs> uh, Two Soul Davis. I'm about to give you Ride right here. Ride, available on all music platforms. That's Ride, R-I-D-E, Ride. I don't need to say no more. Clean 
I probably drank a whole bottle of water while that song was playing. This mouth is dry as hell and shit. But somebody sent me a message. I occasionally get messages, you know, throughout the show on different um, platforms. And um, this young lady wanted to know, uh, did you need a volunteer? I'll be more than glad to see you. <laughs> you said to say what? I'll be more than glad to send you her information, but she wanted to know if you needed a volunteer. I don't know which line she uh, Yeah, she asked if you need a volunteer. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So I'm trying to behave, so I need you listeners, you need to behave also. All right? All right. Go I appreciate ahead. it, Shirley. <laughs> In what ways has your your new music changed from your music when you first began? I mean, well, it's always like this. The reason why I have true experience and then I have TXP too, it's all about experiences. So most of it is something that's recently happened or has happened. Now, some of it might have happened in reverse form in the future because that's just the way life works. But uh, for the most part, different things that happen throughout my life or others I see around me. That's why making music is so fun because the silly things people do to or around us helps me write more music. You dig what I'm saying? Most definitely. You wait till you read my book. It's all the silly things that people do around me. Yeah, so I completely feel you on that. It's kind of weird how we're on that same level. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the music, I know. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Where? If, if someone was listening, or someone is listening right now to the show, and they're, yeah. you know, they've had a passion for singing all their lives, and they've right. decided to take that step and, you know, jump out there, and they, they're going to be an artist now. Um, and they're listening to you, and they're listening to, you know what motivates you, um, what has kept you going for as long as you've been going, um, what influences your style, um, all of those ingredients. What's the best piece of advice that you could offer a new artist? Stay, a new- stay, always stay true to yourself. No matter what people say, do what feels right. You know, do what feels right. Stay true to yourself. Don't switch up. Just because the masses like one thing, that don't mean that what you're doing is not relevant. You know what I'm saying? From my experience, people, man, ain't nobody trying to hear that or, you know, or everybody not listening. I'm like, no matter what, if I'm singing and one person listening, I'm happy. So yeah. just stay true to what you do, stay focused, stay driven and determined. You know what I'm saying? Those are on your aspects. Perfect your craft. 